Okay, I made another um, car pin uh, cell. That's the guy right there. He's the creator of this perpetual battery, so uh, this Rex Free Shirt uh, website called it. Um, I, I basically, for the cell I'm working on, you need water, a mill, alcohol, I believe it's called, and sodium hydroxide. I can easily get the water, and the um, sodium hydroxide is not that hard to get because it's pretty much drain cleaner. But the alcohol is kind of be hard to get for me right now. I'm testing the waters with the hand sanitizer, which contains a lot of uh, rubbing alcohol. Now, rubbing it definitely is not rubbing alcohol, so don't try rubbing alcohol. But you can see there's the hand sanitizer, there's the water with the sodium hydroxide mix. Uh, so I guess it mixes with both of them, but makes it neutral. But yeah, um, there's the voltage on it 0.29697. It keeps going up and up and up and up. Don't know why, what it is. I'm using two copper electrodes. You can see one copper electrode in the uh, hand sanitizer, the other one's all the way down in the water mix down there. And you can see the electrodes and all that. And the voltage just keeps going up and up and up. I don't know why. But what's interesting is that when I made the when I had the water, then I put the hand sanitizer on top of the water, I couldn't get any voltage. I mean, I could get like 30 millivolts, but that's it, but it would go down over time. Uh, it, it just it didn't work. And it didn't start working until I added the, the sodium hydroxide to it, which is drain cleaner. Then it started working. And I don't know why. Now it works like you can see it's working. It's working perfectly. What he says is correct. You get around 0.4 volts. And that's, that sucker's steady. I mean, it's not a lot of power to it, but it's, he's, what he says is correct. You have a um, you have a cell here that is working off the same metals, but ones in the um, each are in different uh, electrolytes that are touching them. The electrolytes don't combine together; they are two separate liquids. And what's most interesting is that you can you can add your water and you can add your hand sanitizer, but that won't work. It doesn't work at all until you add the sodium hydroxide to it. And I thought that was interesting. You see the voltage just keeps on climbing. This is so interesting. Uh, this is amazing that uh, it's amazing that this guy, this carpent guy, there's not much known about him on the internet. I mean, I do a lot of research on him, and I can't really find much. You just see, you just see articles about the same thing, you know. And this guy, I think Rex Research did a pretty good on it because it's got the patent informa information on here. There's a French part of it, and it's been translated to English. But yeah. Uh, it's super interesting. I don't know. I really don't know why people are not looking into this thing. But yeah, there's water, the alcohol, and sodium hydroxide right there. And from what I can see, it's uh, it's working. There's the voltage. And I know I'm gonna get the question about amps. I mean, the amps are not a lot, people. And I think the reason why the amps are not a lot is because. I'm not using exactly the alcohol that he describes, but to show people the, the amp reading, it's about 26 microamps, which is honest power because, you know, and there's the voltage returning. That's honest power because you gotta realize that each, both electrodes are the same electrodes, they're copper electrodes. That's a copper electrode on the negative, and that's a copper electrode on the positive. And you can see the copper ends. So I'm using the same electrodes, so the galvanic reaction should be uh, diminished. And I know many people are going to say this is a concentration cell, but keep in mind that this cell did not work until you added the sodium hydroxide, because I could have had the um, hand sanitizer there and the water there and had it set like this. Until I add that sodium hydroxide, the cell would not work. I mean, by not working, I mean it's less than 30 millivolts, and the voltage will go down, go up. I mean, it's like a stray electricity I was picking up, not actual potential voltage off the cell. So, what he says is, uh, Carpin, what he says is holding up true so far. And um, if I think, I think if I get better um, liquids, I could um, get better power. But it's very neat for those small electrodes getting that much power out of that. 
And he's basically saying the energy is coming from the heat around us. And there's the voltage one more time. And get a zoomed out shot for you guys. But yeah, it's like we're stabilizing now, getting closer to the 0.4 volts that he talks about. But yeah, it's very interesting, guys. It's, I'm surprised there's not very many people doing his research.